All right, so my name is Ben Milne. I'm the CEO and founder of a company called Dwala. How many people know what Dwala is? All right, for those that don't, Dwala is a payment network that bypasses credit cards, debit cards, and essentially the whole existing system. So it wants to empower you to move money in real time at virtually no cost. And it's our belief really that our success or lack thereof is in the ubiquitous access and availability of a platform like Dwala, where money isn't exactly slowed down or worthless just because it's being exchanged, which if you think about it philosophically, as money moves through the current networks, it's actually worth less because you exchanged it. Um, if anyone wants to argue with me about that, I would love to have an argument about that. Payments have a problem, it's totally broke. How many developers are actually in the audience? All right, uh, how many of you have actually like built payments into your app? That's really surprising, or I think people are lying. So um, payments are totally screwed up. They're super complicated. As you build payments into your application, you have to start dealing with data access, other problems. And no matter what, you have this complicated weave, which is this huge cluster of nothing but never-ending corners, regulation, and so on and so forth. And you know, it's also my belief that payments should be a simple thing. They should not be as complicated as they are. There shouldn't be all the red tape. There shouldn't be all the confusion around how they work. It's actually pretty simple. The whole solution is I want to exchange money with one person, and I want them to receive it, and I want my money to be valuable as they receive it. So obviously, as we kind of go towards this like virtualized environment, that type of exchange is going to become more and more and more important, and the market's pretty substantial. In the United States alone, something like $32 trillion moves annually inside of the ACH system, which essentially is the underlying system that all credit cards and everybody else have to settle on anyway. So. We really believe that anybody with an internet connection should get access to their money. That connection should be through a mobile phone, it could be through a computer. It doesn't really matter, but at the end of the day, it should be virtually free to exchange. Um, and so if the internet gives us this amazing capability to access all the world's knowledge by clicking a button, but we can't actually exchange money without making it less valuable, that makes absolutely no sense. It's a technology we should absolutely have. Um, so it's one of the reasons we kind of set up building it. Um, that's something that I say a lot, and I, I don't want to be repetitious, but the whole concept is simply exchanging in a transaction where one person exchanges money with another person, and the current system does not have things like identity fraud, security, and personal information tied into the transaction, which, believe it or not, it should, because without those things, the transaction will always be expensive because we're always trying to fix those problems with higher fees or other features, and that's just not it. The problem is, is you can't get access efficiently to the money in your bank account and exchange it with somebody else through a device connected to the internet. It's that simple. The current solution doesn't exist, so that's what Dwala did. We built it, and now we think that developers, not ISOs and not resellers, are the avenue to actually create this new value layer for everybody else and give everyone access to it. So, all of a sudden, as we move into mobile, we have this huge opportunity as there's new behaviors where people are going to start pulling out their cell phone instead of a card because for some reason their cell phone provided a new benefit that they didn't have before. Maybe that's security. Um, I use the analogy a lot that when I go up to get coffee, why doesn't it just meet me at the counter? It knows I'm there already. My cell phone knows I'm there. It knows how I want to pay. And the coffee shop should be able to just give it to me because I show up. So I also think that because of the proliferation of internet-connected devices and messaging system in third world countries and also in the United States, everybody can pass an authorization or a message through a network. And money doesn't have weight to us philosophically. Does anyone know how much a million dollars weighs in gold? Right, no one gives a shit. It's the number of zeros in your bank account, right? So as we exchange that, transparency inside of kind of like our generation, the way we look at it is welcomed, but it's not necessarily always implied. Security is implied. You actually need to think about the architecture as it relates to security from day one. And to be honest, the current networks haven't done that. They've evolved into the generation that we are now to find themselves inside of cell phones, to find themselves into websites, into mobile wallets, and whatever the hell we're going to do next, right? But the problem is, is we port all of the problems inside of the system when the only thing that matters is we need access to our money in the bank. So again, I implore you to consider that all money moving is really just this complicated way of getting money out of your bank account to someone else's bank account because you want to exchange money. Everybody else complicates it for whatever reason. Um, all this complication is what drives the cost. Interchange alone costs U.S. merchants and consumers about $48 billion a year in the U.S. alone. Globally, it's actually a much bigger problem, and so is fraud. So when you think about from an architecture layer, just take all the BS out. Just fix the whole thing. Start over, blow it up, redo the whole thing, and then give developers access to it in a way that actually makes them money. So sending money should be, or sending money from any bank account, which is essentially free, should be as easy as making a call to an API. 
It shouldn't be that complicated. Getting access to the transaction information inside of a network as a whole should not be complicated. It should be a single call. So these are the types of things that we built. And even as it relates to geolocation, you know, you have people talking about like tapping or swiping. What's the next predominant behavior going to be? We're not so worried about that. We think GPS is really valuable because it can already tell who's around you, whether or not that's a person or a place. So how inside of a payment network can you just shoot up a call, see who physically people is around you, pay them automatically, and also make another one to see which places you're close to and allow you to actually pay all at the same time. So all of this is actually available inside of Dwala's APIs, and I was listening yesterday to some of the really big companies talk about, well, this is coming, this is coming. We've been doing it for a year. We're based out of Iowa, which makes it a little bit weird, but now that we got some funding, I can afford to fly out here and actually talk to you guys about it. Thank God for the VC world, right? So it's okay to laugh, I know. Um, so all of these things are really valuable to developers, and from a core architecture layer, there's also the concept of why are we still putting in 16-digit account numbers? Every time you engage in transaction with your credit card, you're leaving behind the information someone else needs to steal your identity. And you're entrusting that they actually know how to store that data, which they don't, or their service provider probably doesn't, or some other thing that it passes through on the way to wherever it's going probably doesn't know how to protect it, which is why we have a huge problem. So the way we've designed kind of our payments architecture is everything should be based on OAuth. Authorize the uh, application to bill you. Do not give it a 16-digit account number. So you can pass the auth, but you don't expose people. And when things get exposed, they start to get out of control really quick. One stolen credit card number with one exposed home address can be utilized a lot of times. So again, we concentrate simply on the bank layer. We concentrate on how developers can get access to it. And essentially, we keep the system very low cost. So we believe that ubiquity is really about sticking to a core philosophy, which is transactions should be real time. They should be safe. And just simply, you should have access to your money because you have access to a uh, internet connection. Payment networks should have a memory. You absolutely should be able to log into Visa.com and see every transaction you've ever engaged in with a Visa card. The fact that you can't do that is ridiculous. The fact that you can't see everybody that stored your Visa card over the history of every Visa card you've ever had when you go to Visa.com is also ridiculous. We think these are architecture problems that should be fixed, and we actually think the network itself should have a fraud system, which the current ones do not. And beyond all else, it needs to be agnostic. It shouldn't care what you spend your money on. It shouldn't care how much money you're spending. All it should be able to do is allow you to pass an authorization and transfer your money to somebody else because that's what you want to do and it belongs to you. Um, we also think that there's a lot of value in not necessarily having a political or corporate agenda, which makes it very difficult for the existing incumbents to build ubiquitous solutions that actually solve major market problems and payments, let alone give access to developers for free. So my challenge to you as developers and as an obviously very tech-savvy community is the people in this very room are probably going to define the types of payment forms and the way we exchange money. If you know the way you exchange money is broke, why not recognize it and use a better solution? It's actually not that complicated, and it is actually currently available. A way to bypass all the problems in the current system is called Dwala. It exists. Use it. If you have questions, I'm not a hard guy to find. Thank you very much for your time, everyone.